All right, these choices are fairly easy, probably means we have a fairly easy question, but let's take a look. In the mid-19th century, some abolitionist newspapers blank westward migration in the United States. By printing a letter that described the easy fortunes and high salaries miners could make in California during the gold rush, Frederick Douglass' newspaper, North Star, was one such publication that inspired readers to relocate. So when I first read that blank, I know I don't have enough information to like fill it. So I'm not going to try. I'm not going to wonder. I'm, I'm fine with it. But as soon as I see this semicolon, I know that they're about to kind of repeat themselves in some way. So I'm on the hunt. I'm listening. They're going to give me something to put in that um, in that blank. And so I'm just going to be lazy here. Dumb summaries some kind, sometimes are just about stealing the word. They in, It inspired readers to relocate. It inspired westward migration. So um, opposed, obviously wrong. Disregard is definitely negative. We need something positive. Assigned to me is more neutral, right? Like your teacher assigns you something. It just means do this. It doesn't have to me a positive or negative, but stimulated, also kind of neutral, but positive enough to pick. So stimulated means caused it to happen. So think of a stimulus is kind of like something happening, right? So you can get like a, a, a you know, something hot can go against your arm. It's a stimulus that makes you go, ah, like that's hot. So uh, stimulated means caused it to happen and it's causing it to happen. Now inspired is maybe a more positive word that comes up later, but we're good enough with a weaker word for now. So it's definitely the only one that fits, but try to do this. And also don't worry when the blank makes no sense when you first read it. Like pay attention to where it is in the sentence. They might just kind of be leading you there. You don't need to read the sentence out of order or anything, but just you know, once you've read the whole thing, go back, try to fill in something if you can. Odds are good they're repeating themselves in some way. So you can usually just steal a very strong word from somewhere else.